In this video, we're going to record uh, a similar situation as the last one. We want to show that uh, a inner product space exists with this inner product defined by the inner product of two vectors as the definite integral of those two um, over some interval a, b. Okay, so we're going to let our vector v1 be f of x and our vector v2 be g of x. Uh, for the sake of writing, um, I'm just going to, I'll use the x's here, but when I write the integrals for solving these four, um, I will not write the the function as a as a function of x or the uh, the dx part. I'll just write the integral and the, the two functions involved, okay? All right, so the first thing we want to show is that the inner product, um, this interval is for u and v is, well, let's define as interval from a to b of f and g, okay? Since these are continuous functions uh, pulled from the, continu the continuous function field, uh, we're going to, I said continuous function field, that's not continuous function vector space. Uh, so I want to, I can have the commutative property. Um, it inherits the commutative property from that vector space. And so g times f is the same thing as f times g in the integral um, over the set of continuous functions. Okay. And then that allows me to write then that this is the, the norm, the, I keep saying norm, um, use too many letters, sorry. So that's the inner product of V and U, where they represent the functions F and G, okay? Uh, so that's that side, V1. And that can, again, comes from the fact that they're pulling from a uh, a set where the community property holds for the two functions, the continuous function, okay? All right, uh, for, uh, um, we're going to let uh, W equal the function function h of x. Uh, this is a function of x, just so that we're aware um, that we have that there. Okay. And then note that um, v plus w is equal to g plus h. Or am I going to use the uh, notation, the function notation, but just realize I'm adding two functions here. Okay. All right. So then uh, the inner product u times v plus w is going to equal the integral from a to b of f. And I'm multiplying that by the sum of uh, g and h. Okay. Um, the distributed property works in this in this space. And so I can distribute that a to b of f and g plus f and h. I have the integral there. So I'm still integrating those. And then the linearity of the integral allows me to distribute the integral across that addition. Okay, so I can write this as a, the integral from a to b of f b plus integral uh, from a to b of f and h. Well, this right here is the inner product of u and v. And this right here is the inner product of u and w, okay, which is what we wanted to show. Okay. And I'm obviously adding them together. So uh, that is property two, which is a little long to show. Okay. Uh, number three, uh, we want to show that the product of the inner product of a constant a scalar times the function. Okay. So we're going to show CU, V, and well, that's going to equal the integral from A to B of C times F, G. Now, a property of integral says that a constant times a function is a function times a constant. So we can pull that out of the integral. We have a to b of f and g. Well, this right here is the inner product of u and v. And we have multiplying that by a constant. We have c, u, and v, which is what we wanted to show there. Okay. So the last two, um, the distributing here and the factoring out the c here. Those are properties of integral that we're relying on there. Okay. Uh, finally, four, um, the inner product of the EU with itself, the integral from A to B of F times F, which is the integral from A to B of F squared. Okay. Uh, which this is the integral of a positive function. Uh, over some sign of area. So this is a positive area, which is going to be greater than or equal to zero. Moreover, uh, another property of integrals says that the only way that uh, this integral can be 
identically equal to zero, and we need to be of uh, anything is identically equal to zero is if and only if the the thing that you're taking the, the integral of is identically equal to zero. Okay, which means that the only way that this integrand uh, can be identically equal to zero is if the f itself, which implies that f itself is equal to zero, i.e. the vector u is identically equal to zero. Okay. All right. So that checks off all four uh, of the properties that show that this is an inner product space. Hope that was helpful. I'll see you in the next video.